And now I'm in search of a good legal team. You see, in the December holidays, I made a deal with my daughter and I'm quite sure she will fight me now over that. My grandkids were very keen to stay with us, travel around in the truck and see all the African wildlife rather than going home to Jamaica. My daughter, however, bribed the kids and said when they return home, they will get a puppy. So I made a counter bribe. I said, I'll give them a unicorn. My daughter said, if you can do that, find a unicorn, you can have the kids. Now, uh, a bit later in this video clip, you will see that I found a unicorn in the Etosha National Park. I want my grandkids now. You see, Etosha National Park is full of amazing wildlife. Like you see here, two black rhinos, not impressed at all with the presence of two hyenas near a waterhole. After a while, the hyenas came closer to drink as well. Till the rhinos were fed up with them. A black and a white rhino are identical in color. A white rhino eats grass and has a white mouth. A black rhino eats leaves and has a narrow mouth. No, these are not unicorn. These have two horns. This old lion didn't get any privacy from us. There are plenty of lions in Etosha. And the bird life is also amazing. From a distance, it's sometimes difficult to see the difference between a cheetah and a leopard. Both are very beautiful cats. I see my legal team is growing. These are also not unicorn. But kudu. You can hear the lead of the pack barking. Clearly to warn the other kudus of the presence of a hyena next to the waterhole. It was piping hot in Etosha. Close to 40 degrees Celsius or uh, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Most animals stood in the shade and were reluctant to move away when we came closer. No, this is not a baby unicorn. And no, this is not an adult unicorn. And there are no unicorns hidden in this herd. At last, a unicorn. Now we really can enjoy our evening at Etosha and look forward to have the grandkids with us.